All right, part two of uh, graffiti style and tag design using stick letters transformed magically into eye popping drama, heavy duty drama graffiti letters. And now we're gonna design it up. So that consists of two things. What's gonna happen inside your letters? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna design it up and outside the letters? Um, they all, all that stuff works together. The shape of the letters, the design inside and the design outside to create a tag, an awesome tag. So, um, they're classic and I keep going back old school cause I'm old, but, um, classic guys, classic graffiti style design inside the letters would be two tone or three tone letters divided in half some way with a couple of colors or even three colors four even, um, and divide it with lines some way or another, something interesting. And what, what, what um, what's really popular old school style is drips. So I'm gonna draw some drips. I'm gonna make, what I'm doing is I'm making a line of drips that go all the way across um, the middle, oops, the middle of my letters. So those are easy enough to do. They're kind of big at the bottom. They, they, they're big down here and it gets thinner and it gets, just keeps going in a line. You make a, make a big one, make a smaller one, and you get drips. So I'm gonna draw this line of drips that's dripping down. And uh, that's pretty cool. Let me put one more here. Going off the paper, off the letter I mean, and there we go, right? Um, another way to do it in the middle here, or even at the, at the top, if you want a third section somewhere here perhaps, is uh, just kind of angles. I'm just drawing some angular stuff going on here. Nothing too crazy, you don't want it too busy. So you don't want a million little, um, little angles here angular turns twists and turns but just just a few some bigger ones and some smaller ones and that's it that's all you need that's pretty cool um so if we had three tones here i would color this in three different colors right i would use three different colors perhaps or maybe um, one color in the middle and repeat the colors on the top and bottom it's up to you another thing that's super cool is um shapes kind of like puzzle pieces you see this a lot in graffiti in in tags so that's kind of like this i'm just drawing a shape inside this corner of my letter i'm just going to go like that and maybe i'll put another one here and another one there right they're just simple angles re uh, rectangles and whatever that shape is called but it's like two rectangles put together and maybe like one there and that makes for like some cool, it breaks up the area, it breaks up the negative space, which is what looks good. So maybe I'll go like this, I'll put another one here, going behind there, and so on and so forth. That's a really um, cool thing to do that's easy and always looks good on your tag. So I got shapes, I have drips, I have angular line dividing up the tops of the letters here, and I'm ready to color that the inside of my letters in. Um, but the outside, what happens there? So another thing that's super awesome that looks always looks great in tags because it sets off the whole design and it's really popular is a glow. So this is called the glow. The glow is a line that traces all around the shape of your design. The shape of the, the outer shape that the letters all make connected up together is what you want to follow, like at more or less an even, distance away even spacing all the way around your tag and if you get to a tiny area you can't fit in like here I'm just going to skip that and I'm just going to kind of not try to fit it in every little area I'm just going around the general outline so this will get colored in all the, all of my glow wherever it leads inside the letters up in here and stuff it all get colored in whatever color I like uh, yellow, of course, is a good color for glow. It being a glow and all and that, that usually looks great, really sets off the design, but you know, you can use, depending on what colors you're using here, you make a color choice for that. 
And then maybe one more thing, another common, really common, that's cool, are bubbles. Big, big curves, some mediums, um, a few smalls here and there. But I'm just making a bubble layer around the outside. And that's just drawing slow curves. So I have a couple of large ones, small ones, medium, another big one, small one, a medium. Well, that's big. You get the idea. So I got this bubble layer now, which is cool if you want to make get a circle template so they don't make eggs and draw a couple of floating bubbles. A little, uh, you know, reflection on there, a little highlight. So we know it's a bubble. Looks great, right? Pretty cool, easy, super easy and fun to do. Um, next step, color it in and you got yourself a tag. Colored pencils, markers are great for graffiti. Colored pencils are great if you want to do some shading. And here is the finished design, folks, all colored up. My son, Aiden, uh, did a nice job in the center there with some marker blending. And uh, we got some warm and cool colors. And there it is in all its glory. Thanks for watching, folks.